two-time war as a bombardier. What I know of him is that uh, he, the art is the most important thing to him. And he used to teach Sunday school and he helped quite a number of people. Hello. My name is, my Amer American name is Fred. F-R-E-D. Yeah. And my Chinese name is Gong. Uncle Fred, where's our family? I have no family. So now, his home is a retirement home. Each morning, he would enjoy some lying first. And then, after a hearty breakfast, he goes back to his cabin, where he spends most of the time reading. Each Thursday, Dr. Robert helps him do some exercise. Stand tall. Try to keep good posture. Yeah. We wouldn't want to have anybody think you're an old man or anything, <laughs> right? But sometimes Uncle Fred may have his own troubles. He is much busier on Sunday. Uncle Fred had helped many people by teaching Sunday school during these years. Many kids he had helped have grown up now. They take him back there to join Chinatown Church activities every Sunday. And they hope Uncle Fred may relieve his beautiful past. I'd just like to welcome everyone here today. And uh, let's take our time this morning. Uh, to just greet each other and say hello. Uncle Fred's parents came to America in the early 20th century. He was born in San Francisco, 1923. My, my father was a barber. My mother was a teacher. They both came, came, to, came, came to Mexico first because it's harder to come to America. Because America, American people did not like Chinese, Chinese people. Then, why did you join the American army anyway? Because in America, every American boy was supposed to help our country. <laughs> ironic? Yes, it is ironic. Did you have any girlfriends? <laughs> when I was in the army, I was a young man. Every young man had have many good girlfriends. So how many did you have? <laughs> Not very many. But you enjoy your bachelor life like this, right? Yes. Oh, I almost forgot. Uncle Fred is an artist. So Uncle Fred, please, would you tell me some stories of your painting? Oh yeah, after the war, I decided to go to New York. To go, go, go to New York to art school. Our art, art school. The, the school was called the... Uh, uh, I forgot. Art school was called the... Uh, art school of... Uh, For, for, forget long time ago. Uncle Fred may have gotten the name of art school, but he couldn't have gotten the name of a food he had enjoyed for decades in Chinatown. 
The name of the food is Cha Siu Bao. He eats only a bit and then takes the rest back. Uncle Fred is 90 years old now. To him, Cha Siu Bao means not just the delicious food. It is more of a connection to his life in Chinatown, a beautiful memory of the community he had served. Uncle Fred, do you feel happy now? Very happy.